Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to DIY Design by CCW. I hope you are having a fantastic day. And as always, I thank you so much for tuning in. Well, it is DIY Thursday, so we're going to do a DIY. Now, this one, guys, this is one where, look what I found, first of all. I found another one of these vases, and I absolutely love them. Uh, well, this is one where I'm going to take you along as I kind of do a DIY that I, I sort of have in my head what I'm gonna do, but I haven't really laid out a pattern or anything. So I don't know if this is gonna turn out the way I think it will or not. Uh, you see that I've got all kinds of stuff on my desk here because I've thought about a couple of different things, but I'm gonna kind of fill this one out as we go along and I'm gonna take you on that journey. All right, guys, so uh, I'll pause the video for a second get my mask on, get all ready to go, and uh, we'll get this thing going. I'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm jumping right into the video, uh, or to the DIY, I should say. Now, guys, you're going to see me doing a few different things here because, honestly, <laughs> I'm really flying by the seat of my pants on this one. I know that I want it to uh, decorate this vase but I'm really just kind of letting the you know the decorative energy or creative juices whatever you want to call it flow and uh, we'll see how this turns out uh, what I decided to do first was to use some of the silver bling wrap and I wasn't sure how I was going to do it but once I put um, the piece on the front that you see, then I decided that I would go ahead and go around the vase and do the same thing. Now, um, if you've ever decorated one of these vases, then you know it's not going to be quite even. So I'll have to do some things at the end to kind of make it even and make it look a little bit even because the vase is just, you know, the shape of the vase doesn't allow that. But I'm hoping in the end you won't notice, you know, what's off. Uh, if anything. So for this part again all I'm going to be doing is trimming some of the uh, bling wrap and I'll go all the way around. Um, then once that's done um, I'll think about what I want to do next.
all right guys so now that i've gone all the way around the vase um, i then decide that i'm going to use some of my mirror squares my dollar tree mirror squares uh, that I've had left over from, uh, I found them there a few weeks back, bought everything they had, and I've got, you know, some of them left over. So what I've decided to do is to go around the neck of the vase with my little mirror squares. Now guys, I, a few of you have asked me about these Jot mirror squares. They don't sell them anymore, I don't think, at Dollar Tree because I've been back several times looking for them and I haven't been able to find them, haven't been able to find them on their website. So I hope they bring them back. But uh, if not, I do have, um, I did find something similar on Amazon. And if I remember, I'll put a link down in the description box so that you can find them on Amazon. So as I'm doing this part, guys, when I'm doing a vase, especially this type of vase, because of the way the vase is shaped, what I'm typically doing or what I usually have in my head is I think of it like a dress. You know, it almost reminds me of a dress. Like I'm, you know, what what would I do if I were designing uh, like a beautiful ball gown or, you know, something like that. So that's usually what I have in my head. Uh, as I go through my process. So now I've decided uh, what I'm going to do for the top part of the vase. And uh, I've decided to use the regular type of um, bling wrap. And uh, I'm going to, I've cut four sections and uh, I'm going to place those four sections on the four different sides. And uh, we'll see how that looks. And then once that's done, uh, at this point, I had an idea that I was going to go ahead and use uh, the seed beads that you see laying there uh, on the table. They're the silver seed beads. And um, I'm going to also use some of the diamond dots. And of course, that means I got to break out the Mod Podge. So that's what I'll be doing next. Okay guys, so here you'll see me doing my Mod Podge treatment. I just mixed uh, some silver glitter with Mod Podge and then I applied uh, the Mod Podge with um, some of the diamond dots or actually the seed beads and they're the silver seed beads and then I use the diamond dots. Um, now guys, after this scene, you're going to see the finished look because what I did is wait, wasn't sure what I was going to do at this point. Uh, and I had to let the Mod Podge and the, you know, the seed beads and all that dry. So after I'm done applying this, when I come back, you'll see the finished look. And I'll explain to you what I did to finish out the uh, vase. And this is the finished look. Well, this is how the vase turned out. Now I'll let you take a closer look and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what I did. Okay guys, so again, I thank you so much if you stayed with the video to this point, and I hope you did enjoy this little DIY. Now just to tell you what I did to finish up the vase, 
As you can see, I decided to fill in uh, the layer in be or put another layer, I should say, of bling wrap in between where I ended the vertical pieces and uh, the little mirror belt, I like to call it. Um, I also added uh, a gem or a, uh, an acrylic gem to the center uh, rather than a brooch, which is what I would a uh, brooch rather, which is what I would normally do. And then I just added uh, to fill in the spaces that I left uh, around the top of the vase. I just added some more rows of bling wrap, and then that was it. And then I set the vase aside, let every everything dry, and this is how it turned out. So again, let me know what you think. Like I always say, I love all of your comments, be they good, bad, or indifferent. And of course, as always, I am showing you the vase with uh, some other DIYs that I've done recently. Um, and guys, this will begin, you'll begin to see more and more things, of course, as I do more DIYs. So some of these, you know, you may have seen recently, but if you haven't, I will go ahead and make sure that I link them either in the description box or, um, you know, in the comments or in the I cards, etc. So again, guys, I thank you so much for watch, watching this. And if you're not a member of the channel, I hope you'll decide to subscribe today. Make sure you tap the notification bell at least a couple of times. That way you'll be notified every time I upload new content. And like I say, at the end of every video, guys, I cannot wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Bye-bye.